Okay, so let's start recording as well. Yo ho, what's up guys? Different kind of rush. Don't look at this Giants team, that's absolutely terrible. But different rush, and with the current rush, well, let's just refresh those. I did something completely new that I've never done before. I created four-star only offenses. Even my defense is four-star only. Okay, we have this Riley, so it's free. Free to play only. You could say like, oh, but Lucian is not free to play. Get in from an event. At some point you have an event, you can pick a unit, pick Lucian, any four-star, non-LD would be free to play. I also included things that were HOH, such as Amdawat, Sige, and that thing. This team will not be used. Um, so, this will be a difficult rush. It's kind of for me to try and to just see, like, okay, how much of net fives, LD fives, that kind of stuff do you need to get pretty far in rush? I think in current meta, it's one of the best metas to actually do four star defense. Because defense in the past was pretty difficult. But since the buff of mainly Clara and Amduit, you can actually just these two plus two and you probably have a pretty decent defense. So if you don't have any defense units, look at Clara, Amduit, and then plus two. These are options I kind of tend to... Uh, I will have a few switches for those as well, seeing if things go right or wrong. I already tested some of the um, offenses, but I noticed that offense is pretty difficult compared to how using these units was about four or five years back because four or five years back you didn't have to deal with abelios you didn't have to deal with uh, kinkies you didn't have to deal with like a whole bunch of things that you have to deal with right now which makes it difficult to um just get these units in without a tiana without a poseidon without those kind of units do you necessarily need the ld5s no i've made plenty of videos already showing like you don't need the LD5s. But let's say you pretty much don't have any of the elemental net 5s. Of course, if you have some, you're going to replace this for Pisama. You're going to replace like any kind of stuff that you can for something else the moment you have it. Um, the moment you have Chiwu, you replace it here. The moment you have like a better damage dealer, you replace it there. Um, you just have like a whole bunch of things. But I also made some creative offenses, like for example, a Bruiser team. If you don't have any of the uh, normal net fives or a team with a Chloe, and this team was actually pretty good when I tested. Um, there were also some teams that I tested which were just straight up bad. Sega is also not that great, but it was just for me also giving an idea of like, okay, what is actually good for four stars, what is not good for four stars, what are options. I noticed that the double Lucian comp in this is not that great because you pretty much have a lot of Abelios you're fighting. As someone's mentioning Akamamir, Akamamir mostly lacks damage as far as I know. It is an option to go Kalara, Galleon, Akamamir plus a booster. But I think Julie in most cases will probably do more damage. Free to play options for doing damage. Best options are probably the Lucian, the Julie and the Kaki. Not that surprised. So these are also the, the common units that I will use throughout. You do have some options for single target eliminations that you could do, which could be, for example, putting in uh, Assassins, could be Stella, could be... Uh, I think the Natalie, the dark one, was also HOH. So you have those kind of things. Um, someone's mentioning the new Cannon Girl. New Cannon Girl is an option as well. It pushes back. Actually, she's kind of a... Um, I didn't build her yet, didn't really want to build her yet, but... Technically, what she does on the S3 is kind of a Poseidon pushback, if I'm not mistaken. It's probably just doing a shit ton less damage. So, there are options that, if you don't have the specific units, there are always options that you could say, like, okay, I don't have a Leia, but I can do something else that actually does some damage. So, yeah, this is actually pretty much a Poseidon kind of thing. It's actually pretty much a Poseidon kind of thing. So yeah, we will see how this goes. Probably we see a whole bunch of losers. I kind of expect that. Also, if you might ask, like, what is this trash of a Dryance team? This is what happens if I rerun way too many units for the rush that I did right now. So if you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. And the timer says, like, when the hour starts pretty much. And that's also when we start rushing. I will show all of the runes except for Kabila, I think, and maybe defense. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'll probably just show defense things as well, except for my fastest room, which is uh, set, which is on Kabila right now. Um, and 
that will be at the end of the video so let's get into rushing and let's see what we walk into what is a struggle what is not a struggle and those kind of things so as i mentioned before the chloe team is actually pretty nice because chloe gives me an option to lucian things but still keep the survive ability against things like some so in this case if i go for this abelio i'm not 100 percent sure if it will die it will actually die and then we go of course the comments are going to be all filled like yeah but you're using super op runes blah 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 that kind of stuff yes i do use the runes that i would use like for the best setups that i have 100 percent it doesn't make any sense for me to go slacking on runes, go for like weak runes or whatever like that. Because I'm fighting people in G3, they have G3 runes as well. So if you want to use these teams in lower ranks, you probably will be doing pretty fine. But as I said, if you go for a Lucian setup, you kind of want to kill at least two units before they move. In this case, I only killed one, which... Could be pretty tricky. Hmm, this team though. Would I be able to double Lucian it just straight up? No, I think there's this passive, this passive makes it difficult to Lucian. Also, Hellfest is pretty difficult to clear with a um with these kind of teams. The main reason that Hellfest becomes difficult to clear is because a half um you don't have buff block on like everything Ashi is one of the better options to actually clear those buff block or to clear like those strips you need some high echo on that but let's actually see if we go for this team this setup we didn't land on that but you focus that i don't really care if it dies at least after you did the buffs <laughs> so they take a whole bunch of turns but let's see how this goes that does a pretty nice amount of damage. But like I said, Kaki's are pretty annoying too. So Kaki is dead in this case as well. And because of the invisibility of Chloe, I could still hit this. So actually, Chloe is one of those units that I would say a lot of people did forget about. But is very good for arena offense. Because not every arena offense has like a clear good stripper in there. And therefore, that makes it not doable for that. Um, these kind of teams. I think I can clear it with this. So, Clara is by far not one of the most consistent strippers, not even like remotely close. Ooh, that's killing less than I was hoping for, actually. Quite some less. Let's get that, rid of that thing. The good thing about Clara is, though, that she will always uh, make this thing target her. So, moment we clear everything, this is just going to waste time. It's not actually going to make me lose. I should have maybe went for a Galleon that's not crit rate to be able to clear these kind of things easier. Um, the Bernard is crit rate, however, so he has odds to actually do quite some damage on this thing. I don't really have a anti-Leo setup at the moment though. Oh, this could be tricky as well. But I think we are going for an out slow on this one too. And what lead can I do if I actually don't want to be first? Let's see. The Nemesis might proc enough if the Ariel is actually super slow. But the main thing is this team you do want to run like pretty freaking slow. Okay, all good. Ariel has quite some attack bar already. But I think I have to go for it. No, it doesn't even nam that much. If it was triple nam, it might have nammed enough to actually be annoying. But in this case, it doesn't. Let's say you don't have uh, Sige, or as one famous YouTube streamer once called him, Bob. There is a plenty of options that you could say, like, okay, you don't use that, but you use something. Just any AoE damage dealer, more or less. Mm. 
Shimata is also one of those units that you're like always surprised of like, yo, why does that unit do so much damage? Why does it do so much damage? This one could be more tricky. Actually clear this way. I actually want to do it same. Oh, let's just do this with this. Why not make it way? I never made it. That, that's the simple reason. I never just made it. I'm not sure if this team is slow enough. Seems to be slow enough. Okay, no armor break on that. I think that's not the worst. Especially since you already die. Hang it away, highly underrated. It's definitely not underrated. I just never made it. I just never needed it. I would definitely not say that Megan 2A is underrated. Also for this team, if you want to use it in exact same way, it is recommended to have damage on the Kabila. A crit damage slot for additional damage artifacts like anything works. And we do get defense successes with the current defense. That's actually a Clara and the Wet Theomar. So we have three units with recent uh, buffs and a Triana. I think the Triana will be switched out at some point. Could we potentially just clear out this? I think these units will survive. That's the main issue. Like some of these units will survive. I will outspeed that thing. That's pretty sure. But the surviving part might be hard, but let's give it a try. Despair and what? Yes, I think despair and what. So some of those hits that I will do is also kind of testing because if I would actually run these teams for like many rotations of rushes already you at some point you kind of know what you can and what you can't hit because all of these teams are pretty much new for me i did some testing in the afternoon but i don't know exactly what i can and what i can't hit so for that reason um at some points just kind of a gamble like okay can you hit this no okay can you hit that maybe like this for example could i potentially hit this do feel like I can actually. Did I put a rang in here? Because I feel like I would just outspeed it and just go for it. Yeah, I hella outspeed that thing actually. Nice. And then this does good damage too. So yeah, sometimes it's just kind of testing like what can you hit, what can you not hit. Those teams are somewhat more tricky. You could say like, okay, I'll go for a Chloe kind of team, but it is still pretty tricky. You could say, however, for this team, just want to showcase it, that you would do something like this. Do you want better than Dofa for this? No, Dofa is better, uh, but Dofa is not free to play. That is the only reason I'm not using Dofa. I th think we didn't increase, did we? I think we did not. No armor break on that. That's a good proper though. So yeah, one might claim that these runes on these units are not that free to play. No, they're not. It's just giving you an idea of like, okay, you can actually bruiser your way through all of this shit as well. You don't have to actually make super fast clears because a lot of those teams during brushes don't have any form of sustainability. Or you can just very easily clear. Oh, I did actually land it. Uh, you just clear the sustainability and then you're pretty much pretty fast good to go and this is somewhat more tricky because that thing might actually go into immunity so i can't really use um this team for it that well Also for this, for example, yeah, it would be just food for this. Like, if there's no sustain in the whole team, if you just bring very good, efficient runes towards a bruiser team, probably good to go. I 
How did your time spending prepping this? Way too much, so please like this video if you're watching it on YouTube. And please follow on Twitch if you're watching it on Twitch. Because I spend way too much time prepping this, yes. That is absolutely correct. Either that was not ruined or the room quality on those two are um, insane. I think a combination of the two. Yeah, definitely a combination of the two. Okay, this thing with defense buff, uh, <laughs> he hits harder on me than I hit on that thing. Yeah, defense unit with defense buff. That is, uh, that is a something for sure. Okay, at least uh, you like to take your vial. Man, three case. That's absolutely not. But they don't have add damage. You could take them for add damage, but I didn't in my case. Okay, taking a few wins, taking a few losses. I totally expect my defense to not do all too great. Like, I would be legitimately surprised if my defense does very great. Um, this. I won't kill this one and I might not kill that one. That could be tricky if I don't kill this thing, right? Uh, let's give it a try. I will push sure out. It has shield runes. And yeah, Balio was somewhat slow. Yep, that- Ooh, even this thing. So yeah, if you happen to find, like, this hard Lucian counters, that can be pretty tricky. That can be pretty, pretty tricky. I should have maybe actually killed that. Should have, I guess. that and also if you have good cleanup units it does help out quite some okay he doesn't have close to passive yet and i think he should kill it perfect yeah this unit on the left he's a triple fighter so he doesn't have mexican protection what does this hat say this one this one says cape town Can we clear this? I actually do think... Oh, we got Obaba with the raids! Thank you very much. I Let's see how good Amdawad is in current state. I feel like it won't do too much, but I kind of want to test it. But big raid, hope your wings went pretty well. We're doing here a free-to-play arena rush. Okay, that does absolutely nothing. So I'm not sure whether this is going to be good or bad, it's just something different. Not great that those two units cut. Attack buff is gone for Seagate, but I guess that's fine since Android already used his skill anyways. Galleon landed everything. It does happen. Not always, but it does happen. Yeah, I took a long time to prep, because even the defense... This defense is actually kind of working. I have a free-to-play defense that kind of works. I'm somewhat impressed about that. Hmm, this thing. If I Lucian it, that thing will survive. That thing will most likely survive, that thing will survive. So it's not worth Lucianing. That's the main thing. Like, during those cleaves, you kind of want to kill at least two out of four units already. Th then you can say, like, okay, I can... Kind of get a decent cleave in. This one has uh, good odds that these two units die, this one does not. But let's give it a try. Like I mentioned before, I might lose a lot of uh, offenses here today simply because I'm trying things that I never really tested all too much. If you would rush with this a week in, week out, at some point you know what can you hit, what can you not hit. And therefore, it's just a lot easier decision making. You don't make uh, fails as much. So if I would run this for like four or five weeks, then you probably have a better um, rate with this. Definitely. Also, if in case you ask why why is your GB12 so shit, it's because I reroom my whole account and I didn't care about 
setting back the GB12 to a decent state. Uh, I think I can actually hit this as well. The main thing that Julie becomes so good for is because she multi-hits that much that she kind of ignores this pass or it's not going to be like she's going to get three or four times the pass upon her ass. And Julie does a shit ton of damage as well. Most definitely does. Yeah, the defense is uh, Clara, Andoet, Theo, and Triana. Which will switch somewhat towards the end. Chris, super high up. This team, we could just Lucian earlier. Did I Lucian it in this way, or did I Lucian it with... No, I Lucian it exactly this way. At some point, you also just know, like, okay, this Andoet does die, this Andoet doesn't die, blah, 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 so... That helps out quite a lot as well, just knowing what you kill, what you don't kill. And all of the runes will be shown at the end, as always. Ooh, this one is tricky. And we clear out this. I think we can clear this out with a... I do know that this one's probably pretty thick. And... Hmm... <laughs> Not sure if I can clear out that. Team from Guts. Interesting team. I don't have Leo Countess as of this moment, so... Not even going to attempt it. It would be pretty easy to put in Leo Counters. If you just have these two units on Will already, you already have a Leo Counter right there. Mm, that's fine. Bernard you also want to stack damage on. That was a casual 38k Bernard. Can we do that again? No, this one you probably hit less on. 30k. So, the units that are just speed boosters and that kind of shit, you actually want to put damage on them too. So, my Kabila has damage. My Bernard has damage. Like, you want to make use of all of the units that are on the field. You, you don't... Like, unless they're triple fighters. Like, if they're triple fighters, you don't, you don't give a shit. It's their job to do nothing. This one actually has so little potential that I kind of just want to do this. Because there's two water units doing damage, but they will always ch charge on the Chloe. After this skill, which is probably... Wow, that thing is actually fire. I did not expect that. Chloe should have been uh, Will, and then this would have been no issue whatsoever. Currently, it's pretty much an issue. But since it's Vio, can I fuck up this team differently? Most definitely. Who puts the shit on Vio, though? Um, I guess this is probably the best way. Well, since no one expects it to be Vio, it's actually pretty fucked to be Vio. I'm not gonna lie, but... The moment people know it, then they fuck you up. Nice. Yeah, this Bernard is on crit damage in this case, so he doesn't always crit. He has like 55, 60 crit. But he's there to clear out the water units. This defense is actually doing pretty well. Like, Ain't gonna lie. Also, the offenses are not doing all too bad. We also have a primer from Bodash. Appreciate it. Hmm. This is somewhat more tricky, though. However, if we use this team, we drag that unit in, he probably outspeeds my whole team, and nothing will happen. The defense is a Clara Amduit, a Theo Mars, and a Triana. So by outslowing this whole team, I think I'm pretty much good to go. You could say like, okay, you're not gonna hit on that unit. That is true. Only issue is like, if you're triple naming, would you outspeed Mr. Bob over here? And it looked like it was kind of triple nam, but not enough to outspeed the Bob. And that's where we get a clear. So I'm actually somewhat impressed by how well like, when I was testing all of this, it actually felt pretty bad. Like, a lot of these offenses just felt weak and stuff. But now that I'm running it, it's actually, I'm clearing quite some.
Hmm. Loosening this is a bad idea because there's probably three units that will survive. So you want to kill at least two with a Lucian. Ooh, that is tricky as well. Because of the heals, I can't really use this team. If you were to have like some kind of weird ass heal block, you could have maybe gotten away with it. And this is the guy we removed. Turn to medic, please. Back here. Mm, not really. It's just kind of depending on what people run. That's the thing. Like um, for people that know how to solve Rubik's cubes, like the trick to solving a Rubik's cube faster is knowing more algorithms. So knowing more ways how to solve it, therefore you can solve it faster. Arena Rush is kind of the same thing. The moment you have more teams ruined up to clear multiple um, things, you can just clear faster in general. <laughs> My guild is already hating me for using Clara. Okay, in this case, I didn't clear that many units. But is that that much of an issue? Like, even if he starts healing and stuff. Wait, if I hit everything on that thing? No. Right. But as long as your cleanup is still Gucci, you're good to go. And talking about damage on like speed boosters. Damage on speed booster. Oh, only credit once. He has like 50 crit rate as well. Yeah, AD is also uh, free to play. This is the free to play AD. Clara, Amduet, Theo Mars, and Triana. It will probably get farmed at some point, as you guys can see. Like, it's not hard to uh, hit, but it makes it something that you can say like, okay, at least I can kind of compete. Um, this thing could be tricky to hit with this. Hmm. Let's say I flip the script and I go for a you and you instead. Would that make sense? To a certain extent. We we'll probably even do this. Let's give that a try. Main thing is I have to kill you. Otherwise I have like shit ton of debuffs on my ass now. Okay, that's not enough. No, we tried. We tried. So this is some of those things like, okay, absolutely terrible plan. If you rush this more often, you know it's a terrible plan. You're not going to. I kind of overestimated the damage there. Kind of did. But mate, if you don't try, you don't know. Hmm, this thing though. Nah, no, it doesn't look like anything I can clear fast. This, however, does. To be honest, I don't really care that much if it's stripped or not, because if it's not stripped, you will have extra damage from Julie anyways. As you can see, like, everything died <laughs> without being stripped. Could I do this team on that as well? Now, this thing is hard to clear for Julie. That that's the main issue on that team. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Clearing this, I guess this will be best, but it's still tricky. Hmm. You can't really Clara this because of him. That thing will survive. That is tricky. That is tricky. Would I go with a different lead that makes this sense? Hmm. Not really. Wait, what would make sense? Would a Clara here make sense? Let's give it a try. Nefty's AI consistent? She's 
not bad. She's not great, but she's definitely not bad. Okay, so main thing is I have to clear you. Okay, that happened. I didn't clear you though, but uh -huh, that didn't crit. Okay, probably goes for this too. It doesn't. Mm. That's not great. Also, me non crittings. Not great. Okay, so in this case, I definitely did too little damage. Uh, I need Bernard on crit right, I guess. The low crit is not really helping me. Yeah, this ain't going to work. Okay, well, we learned, we learned. It's funny to see that some people are still quite losing against this. But I do have a switch in mind, which probably will make it that less people will hit it. Probably even that more people will lose against it. Hmm. Hmm. This thing just makes these things difficult. Kinky is a hard unit to clear out as free to play. You could say Kaki is a good kinky counter, yes. But for Kaki to be a kinky counter, you kind of need Tiana and other setup units to make it work like solidly. Let's see how bad Amdo is. I never really tried it all too much. Yeah, Amdo S2 odds uh, seem to be pretty slim as well, actually. But your Giants team, don't, don't mind the Giants team, it's just something I ruined up simply because I needed something to run dungeons. It's, it's a terrible team. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, Amduit on AD doesn't seem to do all too much, but it is still an option that might make you win. But yeah, as you can see, if you go free to play defense, especially in Europe, like any other server, you probably don't get as many hits as I get in Europe server. Europe server is just super freaking active, which makes any defense you want to run just more difficult to run. Lero, Bernard, Asha, Galli, and Kaki would be pretty well. Ex it would, but issues are that you're betting on a lot of miss armor breaks. Because Clara is an inconsistent stripper, and Galleon is an inconsistent unit as well. So you have two inconsistent units, which might fuck up your whole team, because if you don't land the armor break on Kinky, you're pretty much guaranteed dead. So that's exactly what I'm saying when I'm, uh, say, for... You kind of want a Tiana setup to make uh, Kaki more consistent. Oh, I should have used the other leads because I don't want other leads or this lead. Shield is somewhat annoying, but I think it is fine. One unit got rid of his own shield. That's pretty cool. <laughs> How to suicide your own units? Ah, uh, fuck. That thing is actually going to kill me. That's actually shit. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. This might actually be hella bad. Yeah, that thing has two lives. This will be hella bad. I'm not sure what's uh, left over from the HP of Sigay uh, on this point. How much? <laughs> okay, that didn't really work out. Yeah, Alexander with the shield kind of made that difficult. Mm. 
Hmm, do we have something to clear out this? I could give this team a try. I don't think it's good though, but I just want to give it a try. I feel like this team is lacking damage. Ah, oh, great. Well, okay, at least that didn't happen. It does lack some damage. Don't attack me. I do what I want! Of S3 there, but I expect it. It is once again easy to outspeed, but issues is that this thing will not die, this thing will most likely not die, and that thing will not die for sure. But I do want to give it a try, actually. That yes, slightly higher lead doesn't matter to me that much. Or let's say not at all. As long as these two units die, this thing still has the invis, so he doesn't drain any HP. Alphas becomes easy as well, so technically Chloe counters Alphas too. That's pretty nice too. Mm, I think this will outspeed his whole team still. Yeah, most definitely. Does have shield runes though, but the shield runes are on this unit most likely, so the shield runes are weak. For the people that don't know, shield runes are actually based off the unit that has the shield rune on them. Okay, this thing has shield. So in this case, I will get Hala destroyed. Because I like damage. If this thing goes for Armageddon right now, I'm instantly dead. So I kind of have to check who gets. Okay, well, fair enough, fair enough. So yeah, that's the issue. If things have just too much sustainability, it's hard to clear. Hmm. Okay, now I'm just hella speed checking on wrong uh, things. A lot of people seem to have shield runes these days. That makes Lucianing a lot more tricky. Okay, that one is dead. Arnold not doing all too much damage. Lose for counter? Yes, sir. Those provokes are actually pretty bad. But yeah, you want your Carnal to do some damage. This Carnal has like zero additional damage artifacts, which makes a Carnal pretty weak, actually. So it just takes a while to kill it, but I'll kill it eventually. Just have to get armor break on this unit and then a good Lucian hit and then he's gone. Yeah, probably just... Oh, I could have s 3 <laughs> Wait, that took so many turns, I already had S3 up. Didn't even notice. An idiot.
But yeah, a good damage carnal would have killed me here, pretty sure. Like that's this like non-existing damage. But it is very tank, but still additional damage can do the work. Okay, dropping quite some ranks, getting hit quite some. Let's do the switch that I had in mind. And this is going to be so old school. Rina. I have no clue if people actually still properly know how to counter her. That's my main reason that I thought of her. Because I think people just simply forgot how to counter her. And that is my bet that people will not hit it. Probably I will get hit. But also the combination of Arena and a uh, Theomars is pretty nice because if Theomars manages to kill the enemy side of damage dealers, you can't kill the Arena. You're looking at a very dumbass fight where nothing dies, which might be actually a five-hat way of um, putting Arena in your defense. So let's see if that works. It might go pretty terrible. Who knows? Who knows? Sion too strong. Sion is pretty nice, but you gotta land all of them bombs. Could take you a while. Maybe Raccoon for defense. Mm, could do. I also had the idea of a bigger for defense, but I stepped away from it. Well, that's uh, some wins already, I guess. I guess Amdawad is not that great on defense. Like the, the times that I hit Amdawad on defense, it also doesn't do all too much for me. So that makes the unit not that great. Yana is also really nice as a unit because you can actually properly hit this with an AoE stripper too, which in this case I could do this, but it is tricky. You, you don't really want to do it that much. I could potentially, no, I would, if I place Galleon over here, this unit moves before, so that doesn't really help as well. Hmm, in this case, I could... Could I? Could I? Could I? Should I? Would I? No. This one, I could Clara with this. No, wait, this is one that I Lucian before, didn't I? Didn't I? Well, the tricky thing is that this thing will probably not die. That thing will die. Wait, but also you're going to move because I take three turns. Not great, actually. Hmm. Sometimes it's just a struggle. Like, you counter individual units, but you don't counter the whole set of it. Like this, for example. If this was an Asher, this would be easier to counter, actually. Wait, there's so little to hit on this whole list right now. Um, Let's clear this with... Can we actually even clear this with this? It looks pretty tricky. I'm gonna give it a go. The cookie is mostly pretty easy to clear with Illusion. Okay, get stunners. Guess I'll do some extra damage over there. Nigong simply disappears. Isis, Galleon, Tiana, Poseidon. Uh, Probably one of the better, yeah, but you don't outspeed too much, so that's somewhat of an issue, I guess. I feel like I could Lucian this, it's just the issue that you need something solid to count with this. Wait, technically you could. Not sure if it's even rude. But just for the sake of the idea of it, it doesn't have like full art. Let's actually put like an art. Yeah. Let's not be that guy. Because you won't outspeed you, I think 
with a speed buff, you would still not outspeed that. That might actually outspeed, but... Oh yeah, that's that speed. He does that speed. He does that speed. He did out speed, boys. So you, if you want to do this, you need a faster unit. <laughs> Don't do it like that. Adolfo would have survived. This apparently did terrible. That apparently did terrible. Starting to struggle with. Finding things to hit. Mm, none on that one, but I think that's fine. And that thing just does an insane amount of damage. I would like to add more... Um, Shimate to it, but Shimate will definitely proc a Paleo Passive, which... Oh, wow. Apparently, Rena is not the way to go. <laughs> Apparently, people still know how to clan to Rena. Boys, don't, don't go for Rena. <laughs> we, we figured that part out. We did figure out that part. People definitely still know how to counter that. <laughs> Europe is just too active, man. Europe is definitely too active. Whoa, that was uh, not great, I guess. Yeah, that doesn't really help. Yeah, so that's the issue with the Clara. Clara's bad speed lead. Or a bad stripper, not bad speed lead. She's okay as a speed lead. Terrible as a stripper. So therefore you cannot really expect her to cut. Getting G3 without broken units is impossible. I would disagree actually because sure i don't i don't use any good unit right now if you just have like one or two let's say just the chivu you already get pretty far like you don't need all of them you need some of them plus this is europe server this is like by far the most difficult style of russian you could get oh that revive could be annoying actually Yeah, that's the thing, like, for defense, you kind of need more good unit than just one. But for offense, you just need one good unit. And it's not as specific as defense, like, not at all. Yikes. Can we hit some of the people back? Okay, we're not gonna kill that thing on the right, but I guess that is fine. Procs are less fine though. Also, having 100% provoked is less fine. Damn, no critters. Damn, procers. Wow, I feel like this was doable if we didn't get like bad shit RNG. Okay, this RNG was pretty terrible. Do you like Manon for defense? Um, I guess she's okay-ish. She's not great, but she's okay-ish. A 
all of those full on pass teams, we should simply just do this. I don't want to give this a try. Let's remove this for this. This could go pretty bad as well. Did someone in chat said absolutely no way you're cleaving this? Maybe I was lucky. Damn. I start to get quite a lot of hits. Then again, I am pretty sure if people see my name with a defense that they can hit, they will be like, yo, I'm he's always hitting me. I'm hitting this fucker right now. I am most definitely hitting this fucker right now. So that is also a thing that doesn't really help in my favor. <laughs> Well, shield runes, though. Wait, why does it revive that unit? That's not right. Wait, why do you hit that? damage okay I guess the Triana in there did best because it actually gave some wins is the right Triana else yeah, still have about 12 minutes to get back also, keep in mind that the points are, um, how to say it, we are in a week where the points are pretty close to each other. Yeah, Clara likes to prove that she's a pretty shit unit as a stripper, holy fuck. Like, okay, I get that you don't strip everything, like, always. Like, I, I get that part, but zero? That's very minimum, right? No, that's stunner, though. What? Ah, oh, they had the skill back. Fuck me. This ain't going too great. I was gonna say, don't tell me it's back again already. No, don't kill me, he crits. Why do you crit? Why do you crit? Why do people crit like that? Don't crit me like that. We got Alex with the primer. Appreciate it. Mm. Also, this would be easier with a Bastet. Bastet would just hella clear that. Well, actually... Hmm. No, you kind of need a Megan in there. Be able to clear it. I must say, I have more struggles with finding good things to hit right now than I had like earlier on. I'm missing them chibu.
Yeah, these teams, if you have a Chibu, it's so easy. If you have any proper stripper, this team becomes easy. But without any proper stripper, this team is a bitch. Because even this will probably a value pass. Hmm. Struggles. And you can't really illusion it. Or can't really, really can't. Let's call it that way. fresh wings waiting on it waiting on it I guess this team would do but you would actually put in this instead what should I put with him Nix and three slimes it probably works No, it's not a churn! Should have used that to push back. No! Oh! Why is this going so bad? I guess if you have just a slight block damage, it help. It most definitely help. Is this one more in tune even? No, it's not fully in tune as well. Fuck it. No way you forget <laughs> No way you counter and you stun the right unit. No way you do that. No way you actually counter and stun the right unit. Every time I wanna make content. Zucker and Jay! Here we go in again. I know we can do it. Missed armor break on two. Please tell me at least this Abelio fucking dies. No, it doesn't. I would have killed everything except the Abelio. Uh, now you don't strip anything. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this game though, this game though. Broke me heart. Uh, these hits take too long. These hits actually take too long, especially if I get Alice stunned. Maybe C2 for the first time. No, I got C2 before. It's been a while though. It's been a while. I should have actually attempted this not during this week, but the other week where it's easier to hit things. You don't drop hella points for everything you do. Okay, let's just... Clear six minutes of Lucian there towards the end. That's game plan. Six minutes of this team towards the end. Let's see what how far we get. Mm, this could actually work against this. I was gonna say, don't tell me that I freaking start killing stuff on that already, right? Early not. Hmm, two units do survive. That is pretty annoying, actually. That is also an annoying one. Many things survive. Good many things survive. This would probably not do this. Clear that as well. No. This we potentially. No, wait. 
Be someone might actually fuck me up hella bad. Or no, wait, this actually might be good. No, don't fucking hit that thing! Like, I was okay if you worked for a heal. Like, that, that part was okay. Not the part where you start hitting me. Don't heal! <laughs> like, bitch, look at your HP! Start fucking healing! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Yo! Look at Rihanna! Yankee's too hard to hit though. Yeah, I think that's the, the biggest issue, Kinky. Like out of all issues we had today, Kinky is, I guess, by far our biggest issue to hit. Was at least no sleep. Good point, good point. Bio Triana wants it, or yeah, the Triton Jesus had every unit in the game right now. Everyone boo say, please don't. Absolutely not necessary. That did quite some more damage than I expected it would do. Boost my Twitch subbing. I do agree on that point. We won. We're back at it. Could I just simply kill this? I feel like I can. Probably not, but I feel like I can. Shield runes! God damn shield runes! Ruining my day! Don't kill Mr. Jin. Thank you for not killing Mr. Jin. <laughs> Got about just a minute left. It's not that much. Which is not that Two units will survive, but I think we can clear them fast enough. Deal on that one. Why is this one so much stronger than the previous ones? Thanks for the primer, by the way. Yeah, no, we're going to run out of time. Fuck! Should have hit something simpler. Really have to go three times right now. No, no, DPS. Good carnal, good carnal. It's over, GG. We were actually kind of close to G2 at the end. I think we ended like rank 160. Which is, of course, not as high as I normally get. But you have to keep in mind that um, in Europe, especially during soft reset, 
it is pretty messy of a thing to hit. G1. So I think if I would do the same offense as defense during, uh, what's it called? During soft reset instead of hard reset, I would probably get G2. I would, I think so. Also, if I was more familiar with using these offenses, like let's say I've been using these offenses for many months already, and I know exactly what I can hit, what I cannot hit, rather than me fucking up like 16 time on offense, you could get pretty much further. If you only have one net 5 that's good for arena offense, you already get pretty much further. That could be an Alicia, that could be a Tiana, that could be a Poseidon, it could be like any of those units. And you already boost up your whole thing by a lot, like insanely a lot. And you only need one of them. You don't need all of them. But I think in current meta, we have one of the better options for defense. I do also think it doesn't help that I'm a known person, whatever you want to call it, that people's like, hey, I know this fucker, and this fucker has a terrible defense right now. I'm hit it, like legit, I would hit me. <laughs> I would hit me. Yeah, the arena defense was not great. The arena defense was absolutely not great. But I think if you just try this out on your own account, I would definitely, those two were pretty solid. I would say Antwerp is not the greatest, but it can still do its thing, I guess. Theo Mars can be niche for defense as well, this one as well. And maybe you add in one unit, you maybe happen to have like an Abelio, you put it in here. Uh, maybe you happen to have like whatever unit that kind of fits, put it in there. I think actually for a run for just net force, we did pretty solid, like I'm not gonna lie. Like I didn't expect to get G3, like not at all. So yeah, now let's look at some of the runes. Runes are absolutely not going to be free to play style, I do know that part. Um, but that is just like trying out stuff and it's definitely a big factor if you know what you can and what you can't hit you will do at least twice as good in this rush as i would here i was really struggling like, what can i hit what can i not hit fill here fill there because i'm not familiar with these teams and yeah also keep in mind this is europe server europe server is not easy for rush so yeah let's go over the rooms we start off with Jin. Triple Fighter. Pretty decent stats for a Triple Fighter. I just wanted Lucian to do as much damage as possible. Theon. Double Fighter. Still pretty fast, but we have seen it. And it was also too slow at some points. So you kind of want to do it slightly. Uh, the Lucian. Lucian was a heavy damage Lucian, as you could have seen. I actually made one team. I never had was able to use it, but I kind of just... For the sake of it... I kind of just want to see and test how much damage would this team have done to look at the Lucian. Lucian, how much damage you do? 21k per hit. Not actually bad. Not actually bad. Okay, so we had that team. I won't show the Kabila because the Kabila I use in similar state as well. Uh, this was the Bernard 218er was lacking some crit rate and but yeah i had a fast crit damage slot or slot four on it and it's not max uh megan was a 205er no fight as of this case uh this thing was i actually didn't use these double lucians as all at all i feel like double lucian is really killed by abelio because before you could if you had two fast double lucians you could use it against nem units but Abelio just gets 100% attack bar and that just annihilates the option of double Lucian. So this is not that useful to rune up, I think. Then we go on to the Clara. Clara will show when I show the defenses. Galleon was a fight with a Vio to mess up if he uh, doesn't land it. The Julie actually did a lot of damage. This Julie actually did a shit ton of damage. It was pretty solid. It also has this artifact, and these two artifacts are pretty good, I would say. So, yeah, this this Julie Julie is a nice unit to keep in. Uh, we had this Shimite. Shimite was also on a good amount of damage, even though the stats don't look too crazy. It looks good, but it doesn't look insanely good. And it had quite a bunch of additional damage, actually. It's pretty damage good. 
we continue on with Android. I will show when I show the defense. Uh, this was a Gemini, a Swift fight with a 199 setup. The Megan 205 already shown. Uh, this thing was a close to 3K, an 850 and a 124 was also too slow as seen in some cases. Um, then we go on with this team. I didn't use it as much. If you have a very good defense, you can get away with these kind of bruiser teams more. But just go over it quickly if you want to go for a bruiser team. You make it fast, 100 dress, some egg. This thing, you kind of want to go crit rate so you can have enough defense and HP. Um, same for this thing, kind of similar stat as a previous sister. Yes, these are both like 120 efficiency units and you probably don't want to replicate that. But this is kind of my thing, like if you have a Feng Yang, a Leo, you can go for like Feng Yang, Leo, whatever unit and then something like that. That's, there's just a whole bunch of things that you can use for slow clears if you have a good enough, um, what's it called, defense. The Chloe was a simple just 205 with a shield set, so there's extra uh, buffs if they do. Uh, it's good against Amduat, I guess, that was my main idea. This was Sige, my second Rage set, which is actually a Will set as well. So, therefore, you just have a whole bunch. They don't skill with crit damage, they do skill with crit damage, but I want to have a lot of crit rate. And just a lot of attack, because then you can also clear Kinkies with this. They, they had quite a bunch of attack, and this was like a 12 on a 16 uh, coal damage, and this was like a 7 on a 14 coal damage. But this actually, this one shot like lengths so you don't even need crit damage um, we continue on with other stuff that I have I did not well this team was just triple fight triple fight double fight and then that it doesn't really matter what stats actually this team in the end I didn't use but I kind of had in mind to use this as kind of like a um, Ganymede kind of reset you reset the Abelio you reset the Isam and that kind of shit. It was not that great in the end. Like, I, I never even used. And that was my final team that I used. Yes. So then for my defense, once again, not free to play runes, but I had Clara on a Swift set. It's not even that crazy fast, but if you want to put Clara on defense, I would say fast Swift possible. That's probably what you want to aim for. You want to aim for 85. I didn't have 85 years. I could have fixed in, uh, S3s, but I did it in this case. So this Clara Bolt is just okay. I didn't focus like the most insane runes that they have. This one was pretty decent. Music is too loud. Music is not going to be in the video anyways, but I'll lower it down a little bit. Uh, this was a 288 Amduet with uh, a wheel set, which is pretty nice. It's pretty decent, I would say. Not the most crazy out there, but it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, this was my Theomars, and Theomars are actually bold for the idea that his passive is going to give him attack buff, and he's just going to proc once or twice and kill off the enemy damage dealers. So I actually put a shit ton of attack in Theomars with like 44 over here, like all of that kind of stuff to put as much attack on this unit as possible and crit damage. So it just can snipe off units when it's actually an endure, because not that many units have something against Theomars where they instantly reset it and that kind of stuff. And then we had the Triana, which was a plus 40k HP Triana, 1k defense. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, other units that I switched in for defense in between. Vigor did okay-ish. I put him on a Nem set. You could actually make a trap Vigor on Swift. It is nice against everything except strips. So if they just Lucian and your Vigor goes for Swift and then it starts using an S2, it's actually somewhat annoying, but once that it happens, it's not that crazy. And then we had the idea of the arena, but apparently everyone still remembers how to play arenas. I was hoping that Theomars would snipe one or two units, and then Rena would just be able to sustain the match long enough that people couldn't actually clear it anymore. But as you saw, there were a lot of hits from like all kinds of different people, but not the same people hitting many times is where i feel like people were just slow clearing this because this team is actually the easiest way to clear this team is not a speed team it's just slow clearing like literally if you go a chloe against this 
for Chloe and let's say one um, cleanser and then two bruiser units, you're always going to clear this. If you put a Leo Feng Yang against this team, you're always going to clear it. So slow clearing this team is pretty easy. Fast clearing might be more difficult. So that was my idea for this rush. But then again, it got hit quite. Tested to show. Um, I could test. Okay, let, let's see a test if I want to illusion this. Let's say I illusion this. Yeah, that's a uh, good kill. This thing right now? Nope. Did that DMR's hit for 20k per hit? So yeah, loosening this is definitely not the way to go. I could have killed DMR's. So yeah, that's not something you want to do, but let's say you go in with a slow clear. Pretty sure this is all still kind of ruined, I hope. Yep. Like, Liri, I could put this on auto and it will win. It's just gonna take you a while, but if you have a while in push, then yes, this you are going to win like hundred percent. So yeah, those are like ways that you can or cannot clear this. Simply said. So yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. It's a bit more lengthy than normally because I explained like the whole idea. I do really appreciate it if you would like this video, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're watching it on Twitch too. You don't even have to give a sub or do anything, just follow. That's that's all you have to do, that's all I'm asking, just, just follow. Because you can see here, like I already cleared one unit, this one clear. I do want to show one more thing before I end this video, and that is how much effort I put in this. This is going to be 5.2, that's actually, I expected more, I actually expected around 6. But keep in mind that this is nerfed, it is about... Um, 30 per like 30k per rune right now you can do the math how many runes i switched on this shit i switched a shit ton of runes on this one so let's end it with that and let's also load the artifacts another one with the three miller i don't care so yeah guys thanks a lot for watching and